Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to this brand new video on the channel and in today's video I'm gonna be sharing my story and why I actually want to gain weight. Now it's gonna be a bit more of an, I wouldn't say emotional video, just a bit more of a storytelling video so you guys get a bit more perspective on where I actually started from and where I'm right now. If you find this interesting, be sure to keep on watching, subscribe for some more gaining weight and building muscle content for skinny guys and let's get started. Now, I use this before picture all the time, but it actually started way, way back. Look at this little picture, man, of this little video. I actually created a lot of YouTube videos back in the day when I was 13, 14 years old. I was always grinding, man. I was actually making a video every single day for my subscribers, talking about game videos, random challenges, simple talk videos, you know, and having some Q and A's there. And I actually loved making YouTube videos. That's where it all started for me. And that's where I actually got introduced to gaining weight because what actually came with this is, and some of you guys will already know this, I actually deleted my YouTube channel because of hate. There were some people that probably didn't like me or my content was cringe or whatever. People don't like it when you go against the stream. And I was very weak back then. And I let all this hate simply come to me and I deleted my YouTube channel, my 1000 YouTube channel, which I worked so hard for, literally so hard as a 13 year old, I simply deleted it because of hate. And this is also where you can kind of like see that some insecurities when it came down to my public image. I was giving too many back then I was caring too much about what people were saying and this is also where I just couldn't simply stand up for myself I remember this one time we were simply playing some football and I recently uploaded like a video where I was at least I said something funny in that video and there were like three to four pretty big guys back then or at least some bigger guys in a group and they were simply calling me out because of that video you know screaming to me laughing at me literally bullying me on that playground and I had already deleted the channel by then and I just started a new one so I wasn't really giving too many anymore but i just realized at like 40 or 15 years old that i am skinny man i am freaking skinny what, what if a fight would break out what if i actually wanted to say something back i simply could not because i was so insecure about being skinny man i was so small believe me man it was like a big insecurity in my head definitely because i was doing something that was kind of like going against the stream i never had the self-confidence and i never had the the power essentially to talk back to those people because I was simply afraid because I was skinny as well. So I had two problems. I did something that not a lot of people were doing. I got bullied for it and I couldn't stand up for myself and for my ideas that I was backing up 100% at the time. And looking back at it, it was pretty sad, man. I've come a long way when it comes down to YouTube. I've come a long way when it comes down to my physique, as you guys can see yourself. And I'm proud of it right now. But I'm also just trying to make this video to show you guys that if you're in a, in a bit of like a different position, that you can make it happen. But Long story short, I got bullied from my YouTube channel and I was pretty insecure about it. Now, flash forward a little bit, I was 15 years old and I decided to join the gym. Back then, my sister had a boyfriend, I would sometimes join the gym. I would simply go up to the weight area, trying to lift those 5 kg dumbbells, being proud of curling them and doing some chest exercises, whatever. And I actually got coached there by a coach in the gym, gave me some bodyweight exercises, some very safe stuff to get into, which is of course recommended and safe. Um, but I didn't really see the gains, man. I didn't really see the gains. I had a very stupid mindset back then. I used to go with a friend to the gym. And what we simply used to do is we would go to the gym, hit chest, stuff like that. We didn't really care about backing all of those muscles, not even legs, as you can probably tell still. And we would simply buy protein bars, like it's pretty expensive protein bars, like $2 a piece. And we would simply eat them. So we would meet up at the gym, hit a chest and abs workout or whatever we were training, buy a protein bar, go back, simply talk over PlayStation like a little party when we were playing some FIFA or Call of Duty and we would simply be eating those protein bars while we were gaming, you know, very funny times. And I just remember my thoughts back then, if I eat this protein bar, I'm going to get big. Misconception again, of course, you guys are, you guys know it better by now. And if you think a protein bar is going to make you bigger, you better unsubscribe to this channel right now. Yeah. And you know what the biggest thing was is that because I was going to the gym, I actually made this picture. I don't know if I can find it back at like a PN camp. It's what we call it here. Pure nature camp um, in third grade of high school. Back then I actually posted this picture. I don't know if I can find it at least some type of picture of that camp. And I got reactions again because people knew I was actually going to the gym. I was doing fitness at the time. Uh, as you can see, I haven't made too many gains because my diet was up, etc. And I posted a picture. People were commenting like, oh, I want to be six pack. People were commenting privately like, oh, you think you're cool and stuff, like you're fucking skinny and stuff. And that really changed me, man. I was at a point where I was actually making the step. I literally made the step to join a gym. And when I was putting in the work, people were still calling me out for this. I had enough of this, man. You can watch my transformation videos. It was a bit deeper than just, you know, building some muscle. I was really touched and really hurt at that point. And I went into the gym with the mentality 
of gaining weight and building muscle for good. So I was like 15, 15 and a half years old, started researching a ton. Back then I was first of all doing some home workouts, do some collect push-ups, following like 10 minute full body home workout routines. I started researching, man. I started researching for a full year and the gains I made in that year were pretty noticeable. I gained like five kgs if I can find back the picture. I hope I can find back the picture of the vacation in Italy. And back then, a moment I will never forget is my dad said to me, and my dad, doesn't give too many compliments, let me put it that way. My dad told me, hey, we can actually notice some differences. And when a dad, somebody you look up to for years, tells you this, tells you this, I was very happy back then, man. And this is actually the vacation, believe it or not, that took this picture. People still don't believe me. This is like the picture where I'm in the gym with a gray shirt, just so I know in the editing that I have to find that picture. People don't believe me, but I was already going almost a full year Maybe a full year is a bit too too much. Maybe like six to eight months. I was already going six to eight months to the gym. People don't believe me, but man, if you don't know what you're doing as a skin guy, you're simply not seeing the results. And I'm also gonna share a little picture I have not shared before ever on the channel. That's this picture. I look so ripped, man. I'm very, very skinny. Had a full chest pump, a full arm pump, whatever. And I just looked a bit bigger, you know. You see how uh, when you're a lean guy, a naturally lean guy, you don't have too much fat stacked up. So us ectomorphs, we don't stack up too much fat and that was like a, a good point because I was ripped man but believe me that was at the same period that I took the little picture um, in the mirror with like flexing my tricep like this uh, with a gray shirt as you guys just saw that was literally like a couple weeks after with a pump I was part of that picture man first time I was literally like seeing some gains and in the first year I gained like five to eight kgs at maximum, which is of course a very slow rate because my diet was off. And as I talk about in my workout, uh, in my transformation videos, and as I mentioned myself, I was researching uh, like for a full year. I found out more stuff about diet, very big discussions at home. No, you're not allowed to use protein powder. Don't make shakes, don't do this. Oh, you're still eating after 8 p.m. That's bad for you. Of course, we all know it's bullshit right now, but I know there also are some people out there with parents or friends that are literally saying to you that you're doing the wrong stuff. When I was literally the guy researching it for hours and I kind of like sneakily, this is like a f funny story, man. I would literally take up the blender. I did this once, I did this once. So mom, don't think I did this all the time. I took the blender upstairs to the bathroom. I got some oats, I got some uh, milk and some strawberries or whatever. And I made my first gainer shake in the freaking bathroom, man. Because um, I was actually thinking about <laughs> making the shake in the bathroom, drinking it away, cleaning the blender and everything. And like the worst thing happened because I was using way too many oats. I actually made like a very thick shake and I had to clean it off sneakily. Like it was like pretty, pretty, um, pretty. <laughs> Pretty fire back then, I don't know how to say it. Spawned. Pretty uh, stressful back then, to, to put it that way. So, you know, people haven't always been supportive of my journey, let me just put it that way. Long story short, I kept going to the gym, I learned more about nutrition, learned more about how to actually gain weight, and I implemented those tips, and this is when I came down to this physique. Way, way better. I was around 70 kgs. And it's like a physique, I also started at like last year. My channel almost exists for like a full year now. And this was literally the physique I was at, believe it or not, a little over a year ago, let me put it this way. Because as you guys can see on my first episode of a skin kid bulking up, still up on his channel, my physique was kind of like this. It was a very shredded and lean physique. But believe me, as you can see on the second picture, when I wasn't flexing and I just woke up, I looked so skinny, so flat, etc. And this year was like the mm, one and a half second year, I literally started to bulk up and gain some muscle. And as you can see, once you actually know what to do, the before and after, as you can see on screen right now, between the first episode of the Skin Kid Bulking Up, when I wasn't flexing, to you know, being where I am right now, is huge. And I gained like, what is it, like 10, 15 kgs in a full year. Was it all muscle? 100% not. There was some water weight, there was some fat. But this is literally my story, man. From getting bullied to going to the gym to people not believing in me and even telling me I can't do it or I'm not allowed to do something to keep on pushing, keep researching and doing it myself. And that's also why I'm so proud to kind of like transfer this knowledge right now onto a YouTube channel, into videos. I get DMs every single day of people appreciating this. I love you guys for real no gay stuff um, and besides that also just being able to help people one-on-one -on -one and make some serious transformations okay i made this transformation after three years so in three years in total but i could have probably made the same transformation in one and a half to two years if i had the simple knowledge i have right now and that's why i'm so happy to help people like like you watching this video and you know we're gonna make a lot of gains together so 
That's kind of like my little story. Take away from this video. It doesn't matter what people are saying. It doesn't matter what your parents think or your friends think. Always train safe. I don't want to say that. You do have to listen to those two people here. Okay, but if you have something in mind, go out there and crush it. Never give up. And you know what? It's even more funny. People who were laughing at me back then, people who were calling me out back then for going to the gym and still being skinny, those people are crying in my DMs right now, asking for some advice. The tables will turn over time. If you're watching this video as a 15 year old, as a 25 year old, as a 30 year old, a 40 year old, whatever, and people are bullying you or looking weird at you for whatever reason, because you're still skinny, believe me, go out there and execute. It's gonna be worth it. And in the future, people will come back to you and ask you how you did it. Do you wanna be the guy who still rewatches videos like this in three years and still hasn't taken any action? Or do you wanna be the guy in three years looking back at this video because this video motivated you and you made an even crazier transformation than I did? I hope you go for the second one. Thanks for watching this video. A bit more of a personal video since I also want to share a bit more about my journey on this channel. Subscribe to the channel for more weight gaining content. This is also the reason why I'm so passionate about this. And it's also the reason why I'll repeat some stuff because new people are coming onto the channel and this information is very valuable for every single one. If you're still watching, you're a real one. Thanks so much. Why aren't you subscribed yet? If you watched it through this part of the video, you're definitely inspired by my story or you either want to know how to gain weight and build muscle. My whole channel is based around it. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, let's make these gains.